Hello and welcome to today's guide on Oil Control Air, the application and software program for the TMS Air System by Tecalament. Today uh, is part two. The first part was how to set everything up and get the server up and running. Today I'm going to show you how to actually use the software and how to actually set up your products and other information. So step one is to log in. Um, the default login is the same username, so server administrator as the same as the password. I recommend at this point you go ahead and hit the change password button and instead of having that same password um, be the default, go ahead and change it to whatever uh, you want it to be. Uh, this will secure it so that way not anybody can get in and mess with your settings. So now that we're in, you can see we're looking at the this is what the server administrator's view looks like. We have access to database. This is what we messed with in the last video. We have access to device configuration. This is also, we kind of set up the, the Wi-Fi last time with this a little bit. And then um, here we have devices. So uh, the one thing I'll show you here is this is where all your parameters are. So you can change what your limits are. So you can see the pulse value, your limit delivery time, delivery pause limit. All of that stuff is here. I'm not gonna get into uh, too much you should know kind of where you want it to be. So if you want to limit your delivery time to 30 minutes or 45 minutes, you can set all that up here. The other thing here is designation. If you're going to have multiple TMS errors, it might be helpful to name it uh, something different. So like TMS error one and then save. And that way as we're working with it through the whole system, you can see this is the first unit. So before we go anywhere else, we want to go into master data and take a look at units. Uh, we want to get everything set up and Americanized because this is a European based company. A lot of times it comes with milliliters and, um, you know, with millimeters and, and that type. So what we want to do is you want to choose what your display unit is going to be. Um, for most of the uh, oil applications, I believe you're probably going to want to use quartz. Um, if you're doing maybe, you know, bulk transfers, you might want to use gallons. This is just going to be really up to you. I'm going to put quartz for today's purposes because I think that's what most people are going to use. And inches since we're here in America. So now that we've got the unit set up, uh, the second thing I want to show you is how to set up users. So there are two different types of users. Um, well, there's four types of users, but there's two different classifications. So these users are users to log into the software and to log into the online portal. So these users, you have a server administrator, there's only one of those, that's the one that we are logged in on now, it has the most control. The second one you have is the regular administrator, you can set this up as like your chief mechanic or a manager, um, that person is going to have access to all of the tabs up here except for database and device configuration. So they'll be able to edit master data and work on orders and, and to do reporting. The installer is going to be the same as the administrator, but kind of reverse. So the installer won't have access to master data, but he will have access to device configuration. And the user will be the least of all these. The user just has access to orders, deliveries, and display. Um, you're probably going to want to set up at least a user account um, that we're going to use for whenever we log in. So um, if you're using an iPad or a tablet or maybe a remote uh, laptop or a phone, you're going to want to have a username for them to sign in on. So I'm going to put uh, tablet as a username, save it, okay, and then in a minute when we log in we'll be able to, to set that password. Um, I'll go ahead and do it here, so it was reset, and then watch this, I want to show you when I log in with tablet, you can see the default is the same password as the username. Now that I logged in, it wants me to go ahead and change it. So let's put it as uh, whatever, something simple that you want to be easily logged in. And this doesn't have a whole lot of control over things. It just gives them access to log in. So uh, maybe the same password twice, or you can put whatever you want to use that's going to be simple for all your mechanics to remember. So I set that up for me, hit confirm. And now we're in. You can see we only have access to orders, delivery, and this display. We'll go through what all these are here in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and log back out. I just wanted to show you what this was for, um, just to show you what their view was. I'm going to go back into server administrator. And then we're going to start working through these tabs. So um, we already went through device configuration. Uh, next up is master data. We did units. And I just showed you what the, what the different user administrators are. So next up, I'm going to show you the order button. 
Now this is going to make a lot of sense to right now, but I'll show you as we go forward. Right now we have simple order creation, and we have um, this is enabled, and we can disable it. What this does is this allows the user, when they're inside of the program, the portal that you go into, it allows them to determine whether or not uh, you're going to let them create an order right then, or if it has to be an administrator who creates it. This button here obviously is a lockout. It's going to shut down the entire system. So in the event that you have a leak or maybe you're locking down or any number of other things, you can go ahead and push this button and it will shut everything down. So next up we have EDP. This has a lot to do with activation um, and kind of your software settings and maybe updates. Um, not going to talk a lot about that today. Language, we're gonna just kind of glance over this. Most everything in here should be already translated, but if there's some issues, um, or if you wanna use your own language that's not in um, German or English, you can do that. Um, we already set up our units. So now we're gonna to get to the next main point is mechanics and products. Um, mechanics are gonna be essentially um, your bay mechanics, the guys who are gonna be dispensing the fuel. So all you really need to do to change that is you need to just put in a code, um, Typically, this is a four-digit code, so in this situation, we're going to put 1111. You put in a username, we're going to call this guy Mechanic1. You could call him Jeff, Bob, doesn't really matter. Um, save, and then we're going to put in a second mechanic. This code is going to be uh, 1112, and then Mechanic2, or George, whoever. Um, so now you see what, this is how you add your mechanics in. All they need to know is their code. You need to make sure that every Bay person knows what their specific code is. And when they, they have to be able to use their code because that's going to tie it back to their username whenever you do reporting. And you're going to be able to see who is dispensing what and when. So next up we have products. Um, for today's purposes, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to work with these five products, product 11 through 15. Um, it's got a lot of options here, so you can see we have product name, that's what we're going to call it. So in this case, I'm going to say 5W30, um, and we'll say that it's Castrol. Then we're going to say the cost, we could say the cost is $3.38 um, per quart. We hit save, product 12, we can change this to 10W30, Castrol, and this is not endorsed in any way by Castrol, they're welcome to if they want to. Um, but not yet. So 315 for 10W30. And then on this one, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put um, uh, 15W40, and we'll put that as Dello. Um, and then we've got here on the product cost, that's obviously a little bit more expensive, so we're gonna put like 746, whatever, obviously whatever your numbers are, you know. So we're just going to set up three just for kind of display purposes. I'll kind of walk you through how this is going to work. So there's a couple things we can do now. We can come into orders here. And as an admin, you can go ahead and create preset orders, right, um, for people to be able to use. So you can see here, um, I'm going to do that here. So order number, this is whatever you want it to show up as on your reporting. So let's say um, this will be order... We'll just put one just to be really simple. Position, this is gonna be whenever you're looking at, um, essentially whenever you're looking at the list, this is gonna show up where, where they show up. The order quantity, um, obviously um, this is the maximum amount of quantity that you can work with. Um, so if you wanna put it to where it's eight quarts, so for instance, let's say it's, uh, we're gonna do here 5W30. So on 5W30, typically you're not going to be putting more than 8 quarts in to a vehicle. So we're going to put 8 quarts here. This is the maximum amount. So nobody who's going to use this order for 5W30 is ever going to be able to use more than 8 quarts. So we're going to hit save. And that puts it down here. Now what this does is this goes into your portal and it's actually going to make it to where that person can see that as an option and click and dispense. And we can do the same thing for this, order number 2, position 2. Um, product 10w30 and save we'll do order 3 position 3 and then we're gonna put um, 1540 now on 1540 you can have up to 16 or 17 quarts so we're just gonna put 20 to make it simple in case you spill some while you're priming the filter and we'll hit save so now we have these options here um, 
the next setup you can see kind of delivery this gets a little bit more in depth into it um, but what I want to show you now is kind of where uh, so deliveries that's all for like your recording and, and your transactions what I want to show you now is what the portal looks like and what your mechanics are actually going to be working in that environment so um, I'm gonna, you're going to click down here or scan the UPC code with the phone or laptop you log in so now you can see we have uh, we're, we're greeted with the log on screen so earlier and if, just in case you forgot you can go to master data scroll over and you can see what your users are so you can see earlier we set up tablet as a user that's going to be able to log in so I'm going to put in tablet put in the password that you set up and then click login then you're going to see this screen this is just the, the landing page you can select your English uh, your language over here but up at the top this is what's more important we have orders uh, this is to, to select from orders this is to create an order uh, we can view some transaction data, what's actively dispensing right now, um, product breakdown, so what product has been dispensed, um, how we want to edit our view, what devices are available, so that's how many TMS errors you have, and then tank. So if there's a tank level monitoring that's working, you can see what's available on the tank if you need to reorder, and then password to change your password. Um, this order button typically on a regular user won't be here, but because we have the simple ordering setup, that's got it's there now. But what I want to walk you through is what it's going to look like for a mechanic when he's got a tablet in front of him and he's actually trying to put an order in. So, mechanic one clicks on orders. He's got an order in for a vehicle, 5W30 cash draw. He's going to hit start. He's going to ask for his code. So, we put in 1111. Then we're going to put 5W30 cash draw. Now, let's say we wanted a different one. Down here, it's going to tell you wrong quality. You can't change the tap on this because it's already been preset to 5W30. Let's say we want to put in nine quarts. I'm going to say it's over the limit. But we're going to go ahead and put it down at five quarts, press start order. Now it's going to open up the TMS air valve and it's going to actually allow us to dispense. Now, you can see here we have an active dispensing. It's going to go ahead and go up and when it hits five, it's going to time out and not let you do a pin, uh, any more than that. So what this does is a couple things. This is going to make it to where all your transactions are exact, so you know exactly where all your oil is going. And it's also going to make it to where you know who's using the oil and what type of oil is going on. It just it basically allows you to have more control over that. So we're going to go ahead and go back to deliveries. And now you can see this that was delivered, how much the quantity was, all of that. So active shows you what's actively dispensing. You can still see that this is actively dispensing. You can see the volume, and you can even abort it. Um, there is a little bit more that you can go into this. Um, I recommend if you have any questions, the first thing you want to consult is right here on the, on the user page. We have this help PDF. You click on this, it's going to take you into an English guide. And you can kind of scroll through here or maybe do a, a control F search to find something that you're looking for. If you're unable to find it here, you have any additional questions, you can contact us at 281-446-7300 and we'd love to help you out with this. For the most part, I think it's pretty simple to get up and running, um, but if you have any issues, we're here to help. Um, I hope that, that this program is able to really help you guys out and saves you a lot of money in the long term. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.